Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be unpacking and cleaning my kitchen. I will go into detail as to why we had our luggage packed in the first place because we were not going on a vacation, but we were just preparing. So make sure you stay tuned so you can find out why we had our bags packed. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started unpacking. Okay guys, so it's been almost a week since we planned on evacuating from Hurricane Barry, but luckily we were blessed enough that it moved and changed its path to where we did not have to leave. But I had everything packed and now it's time to get it all unpacked. So I just thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys and I'm trying to get this done while Kaylee's asleep because seriously when she's awake she does not like for me to be recording and I can understand because she wants full and undivided attention as should be. So yeah, hopefully we can tackle this while she is napping. I will show you and you guys will see and notice the difference between the bags that I pack and the bag that Jose packed. So that's Kaylee's bag, Jose's bag, my bag, and I packed all of that and that one and he packed this one. So I will show y'all the difference of how man versus woman pack. If you hear some noise, that's Kaylee's sound machine going off in her room. So that's what that is. But yeah, this is Kaylee's bag. And, and I have had to go in here and take a few things out. So it's not as packed as it was, but you can get the gist of how it was. Everything pretty much Marie Kondo style packed, in my opinion, to where I know exactly what everything is. And if I just needed to take one thing out, I could just go ahead in here and pick it out and then put it back in there like that. So very easy to access. So I have all of her pajamas, her shorts, undershirts, socks and undies in here, a pair of shoes, and then in this, in this compartment, as you can see, I have a bunch of her shirts, her jeans, pants, and then a few more shirts over here. So. There's a lot in this bag because folding things like this seriously is awesome because you can fit so much and it's all easily accessible, like I said, versus how Jose packed his bag. Here, I really can't tell what all he has. He did it himself, so I really don't know what he packed. And I guess it's a few jeans and some shirts. But see, if I needed a specific shirt, he would have to go in here and... Well, if he needed a specific shirt, he would have to go in here and dig through everything, probably make a mess taking things out. Whereas here, I'll just pull it out and I'm done with it. And then this other compartment, let's see what he has. See, a few more things, but he did not use his space as needed. He only has a pair of shoes, some undergarments, some sweatpants and shorts, but again, it's not very easily accessible. So I'd rather this anytime over this, and here I can fit almost everything. Pretty much this is Kaylee's closet and dresser, minus a few things that I didn't need to bring along. So yeah, and my bag is pretty much a replica of Kaylee's because everything's packed like that, and you will see that shortly, but for now I'm gonna get these two unpacked and then move on to my. and a deodorant but other than that that was pretty easy he didn't pack a whole lot but I mean I'd rather be safe than sorry because you never know last year no actually two years ago we experienced Hurricane Harvey which was only supposed to be a tropical storm and it ended up flooding our city and we were so blessed that our home had no damage but in my parents house my brother's house and a ton of other people here in the city pretty much lost everything because they had about oh I'm out of breath again they had about four feet of water in their homes. They literally had to walk through the water to get out of their homes. Some of them got airlifted to be rescued. You saw, it was just chaos. And I was pregnant with Kaylee at the time. And, and it was a bad experience. So, 
like I said, we were blessed that our home suffered absolutely no damage, which was pretty rare because almost every person here in the city had some kind of flood in their home, but we were lucky enough to not have that. So yeah, this time around, I was like, I'm taking as much as I can because you never know. What if it ends up happening and the same thing happens? And I don't want to just lose everything I have. So I'm trying to take as much as I could, especially now having Kaylee. I try to take as much of her clothes and a few memorabilia, which I put that in my bag. So yeah, that's probably why you'll see so much more. And Jose probably, he was just like, I can deal with the essentials. So he packed a little bit less than we did. But yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do this when I was thinking about it, and I think. So, since we will be finishing out Kaylee's closet, I might just leave this packed. I'm not, I'm still unsure. But I might just go ahead and wait and do mine first. And then, probably this weekend, try to get her shelves and rods hung inside of her closet. So that everything's ready for all her clothes to be moved in. Because I don't want to put it back where it was, which was inside of her nursery closet. Because like I said, she has now moved into her big girl room and we're going to have to move all her clothes and everything either way. So then I don't just want to work double if you know what I mean. So yeah, I think I'm closing this back up and I'm going to try and tackle mine for now. As you guys can see, my bag was pretty packed. So I... Put some jeans here, more jeans here, my shirts, dresses, undershirts, shorts, pajamas. And you must remember, I don't fit into most of my clothes because I am pregnant. So I have all of my maternity clothes in here. But a few of my favorite clothes that should hopefully fit post-pregnancy. So yeah, like I said, I just took that just in case things got to worse. So yeah, and this side, you do the super. I have some towels, uh, bras, undergarments, more pajamas, a few sweaters, and more of my active shirts, which is what I am pretty much in now that I'm pregnant. And like I said, here's a few memorabilia. So Kaylee's photo album full of her pictures. So yeah, I decided to take that with me. I have that, I have my high school yearbook, then I have Jose and I's wedding album, so just in case I decided to take that, and then also another scrapbook from back when we were dating and just high school pictures, more photos, more wedding stuff, photos, photos, more photos, a few cards, birthday cards, graduation cards and stuff, and more photos. Welcome party slash my, I guess my baby shower. So long and free, and you know everything about me. Yeah. 
Foxy. But I think I'm just going to leave that out for now because I need to finish up Kaylee's room, like taking my makeup out of that um, desk that she has because if you haven't seen, it used to be my beauty room. So this makeup currently does not actually have a spot. I need to find it at home. So I will be doing that, but I have to first figure out where Kaylee's stuff is going to go right now. Yeah. Yeah, these are pictures of mommy. Excuse me? Oh, I can't get it out. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No puedo. Sam, so I'm just going to pick up these. Yeah, this luggage, so mine's and Jose's is what I was able to accomplish right now, and the rest I'll leave for another video. into the kitchen before I start cleaning it I will be cutting up some watermelon that Kaylee wants to eat so I will do that and then move on to cleaning the kitchen and as you can see in this clip when I was cutting the watermelon a lot of the juice flowed down onto the cabinet doors so I will be wiping down my cabinets so here I am just wiping down my kitchen island cabinet doors and after that, I will just be clearing off the countertops before washing the dishes, cleaning the counters, cleaning my stove, and moving on to the floors. So yes, yeah, since I did a lot of talking during the unpacking part, I will just go ahead and leave the music playing for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy and find some cleaning motivation in this video. And if you do, make sure you give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.
Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!